11.09 p.m. Guys, it's 11.09. So I haven't uploaded any, I haven't uploaded any um, video in the past, what, five days, I think, or six days. It has been five days of ministry. I have been on the road. I said that I was going to upload a video every single day for the month of April. And I started on a roll. But guess what? I got so tired. So you guys can probably hear my voice. And as you see the time, it's after 11. It's 11 to 10. So I've been preaching out of parish for the past five days. And when I tell you, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I'm in the dark. Um coming from church my husband has this friend that sells jerk chicken so i'm just a link him for a piece of chicken i'm gonna go and go grub i know i should not be eating chicken this late guys for those of you that have been calling me also and saying um congratulations on your pregnancy and um you know you're happy for me i'm not pregnant for real i think i said that in a video um you know i just eating late sometimes like tonight i'm hungry i can't eat before i preach when i'm going to preach usually i don't eat i need my stomach to be you know as free as possible um so you know i just heading home now from lucy from hanover to montego bay i'm heading home but yeah so i'm going to actually just upload some videos as soon as i get home race probably tomorrow tomorrow is good friday tomorrow is good friday today is holy thursday so i'm going to upload some videos so yeah so that's what's going on hello everybody the lord bless you and keep you his grace be with you so today on this precious wonderful day good friday we celebrate the crucifixion of jesus yeah we're not mourning his crucifixion we're celebrating his crucifixion because had it not been for the shed blood that was slain on calvary then where would you and i be one of the things that stood out to me i just came out of five nights of preaching at holy week and one of the things that stood out to me is that Jesus needed his Judas he needed his Peter come on unless there had been someone that betrayed him that denied him that rose up against him then he could not have died so I just want to encourage you from this in this season that the sooner your Judas betrays you the sooner Peter denies you the sooner somebody sells you out the sooner the warfare come the sooner they bury you the sooner they try to destroy your life to destroy your character to try to destroy your ministry the sooner they take your name to see a obia doctor or a voodoo doctor the sooner they get ready to crucify you is the sooner you will come into your season of crucifix in, into your season of resurrection rather uh the bible says that when jesus began to tell his disciples at the last supper that you know he was going to suffer and go through these things he was going to be put to death peter said to him no this thing will never happen to you we will not allow them to kill you and he said to Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. You better hurry up and do what you came to do. You better hurry up and deny me. You better hurry up and try crucify me. Hurry up and tell your lies. Hurry up and try slander me. Hurry up and gossip me. Hurry up, try to steal from me. Any assignment that the devil has given you, you better need to hurry up. There's some of you who are listening to me and you're saying, boy, pastor, I'm tired of the warfare. I'm tired to go through the reason why you're going through because you're coming into your season of resurrection so the sooner the enemy sells you the sooner you go through your warfare is the sooner you're going to come into your season of resurrection of blessing and favor weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning they crucified our lord and savior jesus christ on a day like today but that was not the end of it jesus christ is the seed of abraham when they laid him in the tomb he was just getting ready to live when they bury you as a seed it is not the end it is only the beginning so today I prophesy and I declare over your life that you are the seed of Abraham, the seed of God. And wherever they bury you is the same place that God is going to resurrect you. So today we celebrate Jesus. It's the season to celebrate his goodness. I celebrate your life as well because Jesus died for you and he has great things in store for you. God bless you on this wonderful Good Friday. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the weekend. I'm Pastor Beckford signing out. Say bye. Hello 
everybody hello 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 welcome back welcome back to my channel before I go any further guys please make sure that you are subscribed make sure you like leave a comment down below share with somebody we are on our way to 7,000 subscribers so go ahead and hit the share button now based on the title of this video you will see that I'm going to be talking just a little bit on the spirit of betrayal and before I even go into that the reason why I chose this topic because we are obviously in the season of of, um easter the 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 holy week leading up the events that have led up to the final discourse and the crucifixion of jesus the resurrection that's the period that we are in and so i felt that it was most right for me to just do this and just to do this with you guys actually to this with you guys actually the previous videos that i i the previous clips before this was just a few little recordings that i did coming from a service for the past five days as i said i've been preaching for five days so today i'm actually not in church today um which is unlike the normal i'm always in church on a um good friday today is completely different i have so much to share with you guys i keep telling you guys i have so much to share but i promise i'm going to have my prophet's diary uploaded to share some stuff with you guys that's very important but what I really wanted to do today was just to do the Lord's Supper with you guys. You can do this at home. If you don't have the actual Lord's Supper bread that you take at church, you can use regular bread. You can actually use biscuit. You can use um, any red drink that, you know, looks something like blood, I guess. And you can do that um, in just um, participating in the Lord's Supper. So I'm actually just going to read a quick scripture, do the Lord's Supper, then I'll just talk briefly about the spirit of betrayal why it is important how to deal with it and how to overcome it all right so in first corinthians 11 first corinthians 11 verse 23 and this is my this is my um i don't know if you guys can see clearly i'm actually doing two just because i'm extra the more of god i need god more than anything in this season i need him so <laughs> i'm just a little bit extra with two so first corinthians 11 verse 23 it says for i received from the lord what i also delivered to you that the lord jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me i'm going to eat my bread which is the body of christ in remembrance of okay. verse 25 in the same way he also took the cup after saying this cup is the new covenant which is my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup you proclaim the lord's death until he comes And it goes down to say a little further, verse 27, whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and the blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then and so eat the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body, eats and drinks judgment on himself. That is why many of you are sick and ill and some have died died this is the word of the lord we honor it by saying thanks be to god just taking a few seconds just to just to thank god that he died for me just to thank god that even though i was a sinner and even while i was a sinner he still died for me even though he knew that i would mess up that there would be days i would not get it right that there would be days i probably would have been presumptuous there would be days i would not pray i would not love him the way i should after all that i have done all that i have not done you still died for me you still love 
love me. You still call me your own. You still use me as a servant of God. And you still love me as a daughter. And so today, God, I just appreciate you for what you have done. I appreciate you, Father, for your loving kindness and your grace. I say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master, for your shed blood that was shed on Calvary. The blood in which we are saved. The blood in which we have protection. The blood in which no devil from hell can come up against us. Because when the devil sees your blood, he will have to pass over. So God, words cannot explain how thankful I am this morning. Words cannot explain how grateful I am. How submissive I am. How obedient I am. How willing I am just to serve you. To die a thousand times just to serve you. So I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. I just love the Lord with all my soul, all my heart. Everything that is within me praises and blesses His holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I wanted to share this with you. If you are taking the Lord's Supper, um, just take some time. Examine yourself. If you need to repent of something, repent um, so that you know you won't become sick, you won't die. No judgment or anything of that sort will fall upon you. So let's just examine ourselves. He died for us so that you can be forgiven. And he doesn't care how much you have messed up. He still loves you the same way. All right? So, um, I said, I wanted to share with you guys on the spirit of betrayal. Betrayal is something that hurts. Betrayal is when somebody that you know, possibly someone you know or not know, goes against you unexpectedly. Um, whether they tell a lie, they sell you, they rat you out, whatever it is that happened, the spirit of betrayal will leave you in a state where you feel hurt and you are in agony. Now, when we look at the life of Jesus as he was on the cross, he was betrayed before he um, got to the cross rather he was betrayed by Judas and even though he was betrayed he still died for Judas but it is obvious that he felt it the Bible says that God is not a man that he's not touched with in or, or with our infirmities which means that he feels and so after he left the Lord's Supper table he went into the Garden of Gethsemane get seminary and he began to pray the Bible said that he prayed so um so passionately that his sweat became like blood and I'd like to believe that the reason why this happened because after all that he had gone through, just reflecting how he fed Judas, how he poured into him, he taught him, he showed him so many things and then Judas still turned around and betrayed Jesus. Sometimes it hurts that the people you love will betray you, the people that you help will betray you, the people that you were there for are not there for you and they end up turning around and betray you. But after all that has happened, after the betrayal that you have gone through, I just want to share with you that it was necessary for where God wants to take you the betrayal was necessary sometimes these things have to happen to push you into where God wants you to be does it hurt yes does it feel good no do you wish you would not have to go through this yes anybody would but sometimes these things are necessary for where God really wants to take you as I said in the in the, in the second clip for where God wants to take you into your season of elevation um, promotion your season of increase and overflow you are going to need your enemy to get to this place for your table to be prepared you're going to need your enemy Psalm 23 says in the presence of your enemies thou will prepare a table so even though your enemies are present God is still going to prepare a table for you yeah um, in Matthew chapter 16 Matthew 16 20 to 23 after Jesus shared the um, the things that he was going to go through and how they would suffer for him and how he would suffer for them in turn. The Bible said that Peter pulled him aside, hot-tempered Peter pulled Jesus aside and said, I will never allow this to happen. This cannot happen. They cannot crucify you. You cannot die. And God said to him, get thee behind me, Satan. I have to die. So sometimes your enemies are better than your friends. Your enemies will not want for you to die. Your enemies will not want for you to hurt. They'll say, oh no, don't go there. They're going to 
to hurt you. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. I don't want to see you cry. Sometimes you need your enemies to allow you to cry. Sometimes you need your Peter and your Judas to allow you to hurt because it is when you go through these things that you're coming into your place of God resurrecting your spirit, God resurrecting your finances, God resurrecting your marriage. So you need your Judas. What I want you to understand with the spirit of um, betrayal is that the people who betray you, you do not need to attack them. You do not need to fight them. You can confront them if you wish to. It is okay because the Bible did say that Jesus confronted Judas. But sometimes you, well, you have to understand a soft answer turn it away wrath. If it doesn't make any sense that you go and confront the person because it may end up in, a, you know, an argument, a fight or whatever it is, then leave it alone and take it to God in prayer because your Judas, when you come into your season of resurrection, your Judas will be guilty all by himself and your Judases will end up killing yourself. You don't have to pray for God to kill your Judas. You don't have to fight literally and bust a gunshot in your Judas head. No, your resurrection, your promotion and your blessing is enough to kill your Judas. The Bible said that Judas went ahead and he killed himself. He hung himself. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, don't allow the spirit of betrayal. The spirit of betrayal is necessary. It is um, it is very much necessary. God said, I rebuke you, Peter. You better hurry up and deny me. Whatever you came to do, hurry up and do it. I'm at a place in my life where I just want all of the enemy them just oh, no, hurry up and come. Hurry up and come. I need all my enemies, all the people who want to lie on me, betray me, slander me, gossip me, all of that. I need you all to hurry up and come. Do what you were sent to do. Whatever the devil said you to do hurry up come and do it because guess what the weapons may fall but they will not prosper you will say what you want but it will not manifest i'm not threatened i'm not bothered i am unbothered about what people want to say about me in this season i've already lost so much given up so much that i can only go up from here when you have hit rock bottom you can only go up from here so uh, let it go. Don't be bitter over it. Don't allow um, betrayal to make you bitter. I want you guys to put it in the comment section. Do not allow betrayal to make you bitter. Heal from this. Recover from this and move forward. And you will see the great things that God will do for you in this season. Alright? So I wanted to share that with you guys. And I think for me that was very powerful. That was actually a very powerful thing. I preached it last night in Lucy. And it is something that really blessed bless my heart it bless my heart tremendously so i do hope that it has you know blessed your heart as well um i, I hope that you guys have you know would have taken Some good stuff coming up. I have Prophet's Diary that I need to upload. I need to fill and upload. It's going to be good. I have some things to share with you guys. I'm literally being open and transparent with my failures, my successes, how I miss God, the mistakes that I made. I've made several mistakes. I have missed God. I thought I heard God saying, go here, do this. And it was just it was just a complete miss. So can Prophet's miss? Can Prophet's um, just miss totally in a season? I'm going to share all these things with you um, where the church is concerned, where um, serving on the false prophets were concerned, how I grew in the anointing, in the prophetic, all these good stuff 
um are coming up in my next profits diary video so bear with me bear with me a few if you have missed out on the pharmacy um episodes there are four episodes of profits diary so go ahead and go back and watch them all right and leave a comment down below so thank you guys for watching once again enjoy your good friday enjoy your holiday your weekend and have a wonderful rest of the day bye